Hello and welcome to History Pod. The 30th of June 1934 saw the Nazis carry out a purge of their own party when Hitler ordered the SS to murder leading figures of the SA or brown shirts along with critics of the Nazi regime such as former Chancellor of Germany von Schleicher. The purges actually went on throughout the weekend of the 30th of June to the 2nd of July, although the popular name suggests that they only actually lasted for one night. By the middle of 1934, Adolf Hitler was consolidating his rule over Germany, but the relative autonomy of the SA, the stormtroopers, within the Nazi party was a great concern to him. As Germany moved towards becoming a one-party state, the SA's usual political targets for street violence were removed, meaning that in a number of cases, these apparent representatives of the ruling party would instead intimidate civilians, resulting in a lack of support for the Nazis. Such actions undermined the sense of order that Hitler was trying to project to the general population, and they threatened to destabilise the party itself. The SA's leader, Ernst Röhm, was a particular concern as he sought a so-called second revolution to redistribute wealth within Germany in order to fulfil the socialist part of the National Socialist Party's name. Furthermore, the Reichswehr, Germany's official army, were unhappy at Röhm's desire to place the army under the command of the SA. On the morning of the 30th of June, the homes of Röhm and other people who threatened Hitler's power were broken into. While some were executed on the spot, others, such as Röhm himself, were held in prison for a few hours first. Hitler justified the purge in a public speech, in which he claimed that he acted as the supreme judge of the German people. <laughs>